Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today we're talking about carving chisels. How cheap can you get with them and still get decent quality things? I've played with a bunch of them in the past, but today we're going to be experimenting with these. Here is my main roll of chisels, and I've got a bunch in here that I use regularly. Some of them very, very cheap, some of them old, some of them new, lots of different ones. But today we're going to be taking a look at these. Just pulled it out of the box, haven't even had a chance to look at it. Let's see what's in there. Now because this is YouTube, I have to say I bought these chisels with my own money from the link on Amazon down below. Uh, the company doesn't even know that I'm making this. I haven't contacted them in any way. So this is completely sponsored by you, the viewers. Thank you, Patreons and members. But let's actually take a look at these chisels. Hmm. I did a recent video on these very cost-effective Nerex chisels. They're just bent steel, sharpened decently, and these work. They get you into it, and they're about 10 bucks a piece. It comes in a set of five with a few other things for about 50 bucks, and that, that's actually really affordable. Usually about once a week, I get people asking me, can I get this set from Harbor Freight or eBay? And there's a bunch of other places where they sell these. It's like 12 of them, and they have this very same handle. Are these good carving chisels? And I have to say, no, these are not carving chisels. They're sold as carving chisels, but they're not carving chisels. They are scrapers, and, and but they don't work as carving chisels. These are absolutely trash. So if I can't buy the really low-end stuff, where can I go? Most of my regular go-to chisels are two cherries and file, and these range anywhere from 25, 30 bucks up to 40, 50 dollars a piece. But you know you're getting something good. These come sharpened, ready to go, and they will last you a lifetime if you take care of them. Usually I tell people if they cost less than 10 bucks a piece, don't buy them. It's just not worth it because it's really hard to make good ones that cost less than $10. And even these ones that are $10, they're, they're kind of on the fence. They will get you going, but eventually you're going to want something else. These will work, they'll carve, but you're probably going to get a little frustrated with them as they're not amazing. But they cut wood and they do it fairly well for the price. That then brings us to these. Scarf, 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 scarf. Uh, why do chisel companies make it so hard to pronounce things? Pile, file, peffle, scarf, whatever. These, uh, these are less than 10 bucks a piece. It was $100 for a set of 12, and they come with the roll. So everything I have here, I, I got, and now we're going to open it up and, and see what's inside. I'm not sure if I like this white. It's going to get very dirty very fast. I mean, just from sitting on the bench a little bit, there's already a few stains on it. So let's open it up and see what comes inside this for $100 for all of these. Is it actually good? I mean, really, the cover's not that bad. They all come with a wax tip on them and plastic coated. I like the handles. A little bit too much poly on it, but they feel good. They're forged. They're not... No, well, that's actually kind of nice. Let's, let's see what these can do. Usually, I tell people, don't buy a full set of chisels. It's just not worth it when you're first getting started. The, you're, you're rarely going to use them all. You usually use a V-tool, a skew, a straight chisel, which you could just use a bench chisel. And then you'll use one or two of the gouges, and most of the gouges just sit there. So most of the time I tell people, get a bench chisel. It works as a straight chisel. Get a V-tool. And with those two, you can do a lot of your work. Then all of the gouges, you're probably just going to want to buy whatever works for that particular project you want. That scoop, that size. Buy a V-tool, it's about the same. Start with those and then buy the gouges as you need them. The other one you might want to think about getting right off the bat is a skew for chip carving. These are very useful, um, but they're not necessarily the most amazing. So you may or may not want one of those. But a V-tool, you use that all the time. So let's take all these tips off and see what these can actually do. So right off the bat, they feel, they feel sharp. You can tell they've been rough ground, but the very tip is actually polished, so I'm guessing they ran them through a, a wheel strop to get them nice and sharp. But let's see how sharp they actually are, and do they hold up, and how do they feel? So this is my V-tool from Pile. This is one of my favorites, and let me just show you what sharp should look like. You should be able to get these perfect little spirals with very little effort, and just a lot of fun. This is just pine, so it is very easy, but it should be able to do this without much of any work. So here's the one from Scarf, and uh, let's see how it does. Now it is a much larger V-tool. It's got a very large sweep on it, so I'm not gonna get a very sharp bottom to it. But let's see. Eh, it's not quite as sharp as I would like, 
but it's a much bigger one. Yeah, you can see it's just kind of chipping out. I think it's okay, but it needs a little bit of sharpening. I think a little bit of strop work and that will be back to where it should be. So here's the tip on that one and you can tell it's not exactly um, cleaned up. It has been hit with a, uh, with a buffing wheel and it's not great. It's okay, but I think we can clean that up a little bit better. Let's give this Vayner a try and see how it goes. Yeah, the Vayner is actually really nice. Well, that's pretty. See, that's what I'm looking for. And here's a gouge. So we can try cutting out a little bowl here. And this is actually a little on the dull side. But for this pine, it's actually cutting pretty well. For reference sake, this is my two cherries. And it takes a little bit less work to get it in. It's, you can tell this is a good bit sharper. Um, but, you know, function-wise, you're going to get about the same work. You're just probably going to want to sharpen these a little bit. So let's just try stropping these with my normal method on here. And for stropping a V-tool, we're going to use, basically think about it as two separate chisels, two different faces. And I'm just going to hit this side. And then I'm going to hit this side. And then it's a gouge on the bottom. It's not, it doesn't come to a sharp point, it's rounded. So we're going to do the same thing on that rounded side. And I've got a whole video dedicated to sharpening gouges and V-tools. And then for the inside, we can lift it up and run it on here just like that. Unfortunately, my audio cut out, but we're taking it back and testing it. And this time it works a lot better. It's still not 100% there, but I really only spent that few seconds on it. Uh, I think with another minute or two on this, I would get it right about where I want it to be. So I'm actually going to go through and sharpen all of these and play with them a bit and see how they go. But most of them ended up sharpening pretty well. The one oddball in the group was the spoon carving gouge. And this was nice. There actually were two different spoon carving gouges with this kit, which you don't normally get. Uh, but this thing was very, very dull. I had to spend a long time on it. And so here I'm just testing it right out of the box. And this one just wouldn't carve for much of anything. I really had to put a lot of force into it. And so we need to go back and really work on sharpening this one. The skew and the straight chisel, on the other hand, were very sharp. Those were pretty much ready to go out of the box. Uh, they're really easy to sharpen, so I kind of expected that. But I was very happy, did a little chip carving, and they worked exactly how you expect them to work. So that was just quickly pulling them out and the initial sharpening and trying them. But I really want to see how these do over the long period. So I'm going to go play with them for a few hours and then report back with what I find. So I've been playing with these now for about two hours in oak and maple and cherry, pine, um, Filipino mahogany and a few other things. And I have to say the, the quality is a bit scattershot throughout them. Some of them have a great edge retention, um, like this gouge, I haven't had to sharpen other than that first touch up and it is just as sharp. I was really, really impressed with that. The, the V-tool, um, that I had to sharpen a, a good bit more than I want. I want to stop with that every three to four minutes of use and, and get it up and going. But it does work fairly well. Um, so the, the, there's differences in it. Some of them came just about ready to go. That skew, uh, that was really good. That spoon gouge, uh, that took a lot of sharpening to get up and going. Um, but they're all functional. They all do the work. And with a bit of sharpening, they all actually do decent work. For about eight bucks a chisel, whew, to give you a little comparison, this is a, a $30 file. This is one of the cheaper files you can get. And the, the shoulder of the steel sits on top of the wood. And some of these, it sits on top of the wood, but you can see little gaps in between there. And then some of these actually sink down into a hole in the wood. They're also covered with a really heavy, glossy finish of some sort of poly. Not my favorite. I prefer just to feel the wood and just a raw linseed oil finish, that's, that's what I want. However, as to the shape, they are very comfortable, very usable, and uh, would work pretty well. 
So all told, for a set of 12 for $100, that you know, it comes out to a little over eight bucks a piece. You throw in the cover and, and shipping, and it's actually right about eight bucks a piece for the chisel. And that's just, that's, that's incredibly, incredibly cheap for the quality you get. And they are great chisels. They will do you well. You're gonna spend some time sharpening them. Some of them might not be quite as good a quality as other ones. Some of them might dull a little bit faster. But if you're looking for a set to get up and going, that's, that's really good. Now, I wasn't terribly happy with the V-Tool. Um, and the V-Tool is probably the one I use more than any other. I, it's about 70 to 80% of my carving is a V-Tool, and the rest of it are the, the gouges. And so if you really want to, I'd say go get a decent V-Tool, which I'll leave a link to the ones that I use down below. But I'm also going to leave a link to this set as well. Um, and again, I, I, I bought this completely with my own money. I've never actually contacted the company. Um, I don't know anything about them particularly, other than a lot of people have said, you got to check these out. And, you know, for the price, if you want to get into it and you want a set, this is um, surprisingly good quality for that set. They're not amazing. They're not like the best in the world. You're not going to get as good as a two cherries or a pile. Um, but you're going to get a usable chisel that will teach you how to sharpen and get up and going. The edges might not last as long, but that means you have to sharpen them a little bit more. That's okay because you are learning. And so if you have to sharpen more, then you learn faster. But uh, if you want to know what really sharp is right off the bat, I'd say, you know, go get one good V-Tool from Pile or Two Cherries. Spend some money on that one. Um, and then get the set of other things. Because most of the time, you're going to want one V-Tool, one straight chisel, and that'll do a lot of your carving. And then once you start getting into other things, you're going to want a gouge that has this particular radius. And your set probably isn't going to have this particular radius. So you're going to want to go buy that one. And so that's why a lot of times I tell people, buy a V-Tool, buy a bench chisel, and then get the gouges as you need them rather than buying a set. But if you've got to buy a set, this is a great jumping off place. And then from this point on, then you're just buying the individuals that you need for a particular project. So do I recommend these? Um, if you are low on money and you're willing to do a little bit of sharpening, and you're willing to learn as you go, this is a great set. If you want a set that's ready to go out of the box, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Though, for the money, if you're looking at the Narex set that I talked about last time, as opposed to these, uh, definitely get these. They are, they're far better than the Narex set. Um, and so, you know, I mean, for the price, these cost more per chisel than these do. So, yeah, this is a, a great, great deal. Not the best chisels on the market, but from what I've found, about the best priced chisels on the market. <laughs> so those of you who told me I've got to check these out, I finally checked them out. Um, and now I've got uh, a bunch of extra chisels and I have duplicates of things. So uh, we'll be working these into my regular one, though now I now have four rolls of carving tools. More the merrier, I guess. <laughs> As always, this is sponsored by you, the viewer. The company didn't even know I was ordering these. I ordered them off of Amazon, which the link to that's down below, which is affiliate link. So if you'd like to help out, you can buy through that. But honestly, I do have to say thank you because without patrons on Patreon, members here on the channel, everyone who's scrolling over here, this wouldn't be possible, quite literally because I wouldn't be able to spend the money just to go try chisels that I already have. So thank you for that. If you'd like to help out with that or find out more information, you can click the link down in the description or click that little join button and become a member here on YouTube. I do offer special things that are just available uh, to the patrons and members as well as regular hangouts when I'm in here in the shop working, you can come and watch what's going on. So I think that'll about do it for now. If you do have any questions, ideas, thoughts, other things I forgot, let me know those down below. And on that note, until next time, have a wonderful day. Scoff, 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 scoff. I'm gonna call them that. Puff, 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 file, puff, puff. I love two cherries. Oh wait, they're a German name. Ma Kai Kibbish Cup. Oh, what is up with chisel companies and their weird names? <laughs>